video and welcome to your next 48. This is August 6th, so to August 8th, and we are in Leo season and heading to Lion's Gate. So if you've got some strong Leo placements, you're probably feeling a lot of that energy, which can go either way, but I'm getting the sense that you're probably feeling it in both ways. Some emotional heart stuff going on, and some personal power stuff going on. You're probably stepping into your power with stuff. And considering that what just popped out, the Ace of Swords, you are speaking the truth. Um, and with Temperance card in there, it I mean, it might feel slow what's going on right now, but you are healing. You are healing something, and you are you are like the angel wielding the sword of truth there. It could be that, uh, well, it could be that you're owning your own BS, um, and you're, you're having good boundaries, and you've got some sort of new start going on. Let's see what it has to do with. Right on the bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles, so you may be sharing truths with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or you may just be kind of feeling good in that element, like you feel fairly mature and stable, your finances and resources and even emotions. You may also be feeling a little bit uh, earthy in the sense of like feeling your sensual side. But let's see, top of the deck, interesting, uh, three of cups in reverse. So either a third party situation may have ended for you or is about to, or you're correcting some sort of situation, uh, a friendship of some kind, or a, a love situation that went sour, and you're, you're correcting it with the truth, and either it's with this earth sign person, or you're in that energy. It could also be that somebody might be coming to you to heal a situation with the truth. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. Star in reverse. King of Wands in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Fool right off the bat. So, it may be that you walked away from a situation where there was a lot of delays, a lot of confusion, an immature masculine figure, which could be male-female or out of the binary, um, possibly an Aquarius or another Leo, maybe an Aries or a Sagittarius in there, but somebody... Somebody has not been being very mature. It could be you also has not been very mature, and it's time for a new start. It's time to go on that great journey through the Arcana to grow up. Um, which doesn't have to, that doesn't mean growing up, you know, like, and most people with good Leo placements recognize, and especially because you're ruled by the fifth house and the sun, there is definite reason to keep a sense of childlike wonder always with you. Um, you're you're thinking about your your stability, your pentacle situation, what you've learned probably over the last six months or so. You may be ready for a higher commitment of some kind. Um, it could be relationship-wise, or it could be uh, spiritual. You may be ready for a, a spiritual journey that you've been avoiding, especially with that star card in there in reverse. You might you might be ready to start listening to your inner guidance a little bit more, or um, because the six of pentacles reversed is right behind that, it could be that either you or somebody is getting out of um, a, a contractual situation, either like a, a lease agreement or a marriage or a job of some kind that was supposed to be a higher commitment, but it ended up being way out of balance, and either you were giving way too much of your time, emotions, money, energy, etc., or the other person was. But either way, there was too many burdens. It was time for that cycle to end. And I, I'm seeing the Ten of Cups in upright, but the Four of Pentacles is right behind it, Leo. So I, I'm getting the sense that somehow... Well... Okay, I mean, you got some good, some more good news earthwise coming in, but you might either just be getting over an issue where you feel like your boundaries were violated, or you might be turning over a new leaf and deciding not to be quite so stingy, uh, feeling like you're always in scarcity mode. It looks like either your you've had your ego knocked down a little bit, or you're, you've knocked someone's ego down a little bit, and it's got them in their head about it. They might communicate to you about it, or you might hear about it through another way. Somebody's getting some karma, 
and and everybody right now is dealing with karmic stuff uh, sped up and amplified. So it could be that you're you're ge dealing with some old business, old momentum and stuff, or you could be hearing about somebody who has been dealing with that. And that might be part of what happens with this. It might be that um, spirit stepped in and said, hey, look, Leo tried to tell you, or, or if it's you, it might be that, you know, hey, it's Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus tried to tell you, and here's the truth, is that this is a, this is a spiritual connection, this is, or this situation is something that you need to get out of, because it's creating disharmony and confusion, a lot of little tower moments all over the place, and one minute you feel like you want to stay, and the next minute you feel like you want to be done. Or somebody else is feeling like that. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to say whether... It, if it's you, stay in your integrity. Um, stay, stay in this kind of zone. Um, you know, you have your personal power, but you don't necessarily need to, like, wield it at anybody. You've got spirit's help in there. Or if somebody is bringing a truth to you, um, recognize that it can be healing for you, even if it's not exactly what you wanted to hear at the moment. And, you know, if someone's coming to you for a reconciliation, recognize that it's okay to be honest with them about how you feel about it. Um, but don't necessarily push away your blessings with this person or if they try to push you away from it, don't necess it's not necessarily a, a permanent thing. It could be, it could be that truths are coming out and they're having a hard time processing it or vice versa. All right, Leo, if you'd like a private reading, I leave my email in the description box below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.